Hello, Jennifer Toast here. <clears throat> I'm out of my bedroom, thanks to the use of some crutches, and I've got my leg propped up, and I just finished watching an 80s movie, and now I am watching... Another 80s movie that I had on VHS. And it's like. Do I like it or don't I? But the one I watched before that I liked. I knew I already liked it. Because God knows how many times I've watched this movie. Yes. But I admit. I will have. I will have a. I will be upset about something about it at the end. Pre-warning. Yes. Okay. And that is my A's Archive video. Is 1987's Can't Buy Me Love. Yes. With Patrick Dempsey as Ronald Miller. Yes. And Aman Amanda Peterson. Oh, what a beautiful name, Amanda. Yes, um, playing Cindy Mancini. <laughs> um, yes, and Ron Miller is um, who who's played by Patrick Dempsey. Uh, I'm just trying to get a nerdy picture of him here. Yeah, there's no nerdy pictures on the back. Yeah. Is a beautiful nerd with his his beautiful curly mane, I must admit. Yes. He looks like a lion with that big, beautiful mane of hair at the beginning of the movie. And he is a total nerd. It's like, oh my god, look at that total nerd. I love him. Sorry, I brought a little 90s into there. <laughs> hey, Valley Girls were in the 80s too, so I can do that. Okay. Um, yes. And Ronald and Cindy have this, they want to buy something. Both of them want to buy something. Ronald has enough money, $1,500, for a telescope he wants to buy. Cindy Mancini recently took her mom's um, dress that she was not supposed to wear. Her fringed suede dress with coat, pure white, where her jock friend, who was trying to look um, classy. Yes. And gave somebody a high five. And pitched ripple all over the front of her white dress. Yes. Yes. I do like that fringed look though, but I wouldn't wear that dress. Yes. Um, <sighs> so the dress she wants is $1,500. And it's beautiful. The way they can see each other across the mall. The mall. Oh, the mall. Yes. And Ronald sees that she needs money for the $1,500 dress. So. And he's tired of being a nerd. Yes. Money can't. Can buy popularity. But can't buy me love. That's what it says on the front. So. Yes. so he says to her, all you need to do, because she's a very popular cheerleader. Her boyfriend is in college and everybody loves her to pieces because she's the popular girl. She doesn't have to hide in a, in a, a closet every time lunch is being prepared so she doesn't get played. Sorry, 
sorry, sorry, sorry, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. Um, yes, that kind of girl. Uh, and, and she takes his offer up to buy her dress. Mm -hmm. And she said, this is not going to work. This is not going to work. And, well, she gets him a new pair of, pair of glasses with a credit card. Hmm. I don't know why she doesn't make him pay for his new clothes and his new sunglasses. Why she pays for that, but maybe he paid for his clothes. I don't know. But I saw her pay with her credit card for his sunglasses that make him look a little like a door, the, 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 a jockey kind of guy, which I didn't like, but hey. <laughs> and he starts. He starts ignoring his nerdy friends. He starts walking the cool hallway. Because he starts getting cooler. And she, you know what she does? She takes that style, that hair gel, and starts putting down those lovely nerdy curls. That, well, I don't think curls are nerdy, but... Oh, she starts making him look cool. And everybody starts thinking he's cool. You should see how sad his friend Courtney Keynes gets. You know what? Cindy and Monty start getting closer together. He starts showing her the stars through a telescope and telling her stories about the stars. And hmm, He's always liked Cindy. Yes, since they were little kids. And yeah, they start getting closer. And she's thinking, hmm, hmm, hmm. And then what does he do? He turns into an asshole. He teen turns into an asshole. <laughs> yes, they have a breakup which she was thinking of stopping. Huh. But he is such a jerk during it that they have it. And all the rest of the popular girls. Dun, 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 their horns come up. Fresh meat, fresh meat, fresh meat, fresh meat. I can have cool Ronald now. He makes his way around, yes. My favorite part of this movie is when um Ronald is in his kitchen because um a girl has asked him out to the school dance and she wants to see his cool, fresh moves. And so he goes down to the kitchen Remember those little TVs? Those little TVs that everybody used to have in their kitchen? <laughs> well, now we have little cool cell phones that we can watch in our kitchen, but it, it, they were so cool. <laughs> he would thought he was watching American Bandstand, but no, he was watching um, oh, well, I forget which channel it was, but it was the African Mating Ant eater ritual, yes. <laughs> I can't move my leg any more than that. <laughs> yeah. And stepping to the side a lot and doing this every once in a while. Except with more movement. <laughs> and everybody starts following him, except for Cindy and her date. And she's realizing what idiots her friend, her friends are. Starts following him. Mm. 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 But uh, yes, I give this movie a four point five. Okay, I'm telling you what, I'm not giving it a five right now. This is going to be my little bust down of this movie. 
Why couldn't he stay the nerd? Why? In the 90s, he was a nerd. I loved him as a nerd. It was like, he's mine. He's my little nerd, you know. He, he stayed a nerd. All us nerds loved him. You know, he was... And then all of a sudden, they had to make Grey's Anatomy, and they turned him into McDreamy or McSteamy or whatever the hell they were calling him then. Because every time I watched that show, I got angry. Because they were turning him into a sex symbol. And it's like, no, 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 no. I want my nerd back. I want Patrick Dempsey the nerd back. Hmm. No, I'm not really not making it lose a point for, for, um, for that. I'm just, I'm just giving a 4.5 because it can't live up to Revenge of the Nerds. <laughs> and if you watch this whole thing and put up with that whole, if my, and put up with that whole, um, that whole thing um my whole tantrum thank you <laughs> and everybody have a wonderful day i'm going to because i have five cds dvds ready in my machine all 80s movies all day farewell <laughs>